Have you ever pondered why, in these perilous times, human behavior seems to be spiraling out of control? The question is not one of mere curiosity but rather a necessity in understanding the world we live in. In the last days, perilous times are predicted to be rampant. An era where men will be lovers of themselves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful and unholy. A time where self-love will surpass the love for others, and where pride will be more cherished than humility. This era will be filled with people who are without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, and despisers of those that are good. The essence of humanity which is compassion, truth and goodness, will be lost. Falsehood will become a norm, peace agreements will be broken and those who uphold goodness will be despised. Furthermore there will be traitors, heady, high-minded individuals and people who are lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. The pursuit of pleasure will supersede the pursuit of godliness. People will have a form of godliness but deny the power thereof. This is a paradox of appearing to be godly but denying the very essence of godliness. Moreover there will be those who creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with various lusts, a time where innocence will be exploited, and the vulnerable will be led astray by their own lusts. Lastly, there will be those who are ever learning, but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. This is a time where knowledge will be abundant, but the understanding of truth will be scarce. In summary, the perilous times predicted are characterized by extreme self-love, pride, lack of natural affection, falsehood, betrayal, love of pleasure over godliness, exploitation of the vulnerable, and an abundance of knowledge without understanding of truth. These are not mere predictions but rather a reflection of the current state of our world. It is imperative to recognize these signs and strive for a change in our individual lives and society at large.